Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Hurst and we are here in Heslar Marina on the south coast of England and we are here to see the vessel behind me, the Echo Zulu. Today she's getting her LT3100S fitted, installed and we're here to observe. So please come on board, let's check it out. So here we are on board the Echo Zulu. It's a beautiful day and we're about to start the installation of the LT3100S, the Iridium GMDSS terminal. And I have with me here Dan, he's our certified installer. You should always use a certified installer when installing this kind of safety equipment. So Dan, what's involved here? What are we going to do? So the installation will be in two parts. Uh, the above deck part, which includes uh, the pole, uh, that the antenna sits on, the antenna itself, uh, and running the cable. Uh, and then there'll be the below deck part, which is installed in the CU and uh, the phone that comes with the system. Excellent. And um, in relation to the antenna, its placement, any special considerations? So on this boat in particular, we have a, a radar that sits uh, quite close to it. So I have to be mindful of the height that I'm installing the antenna at. So it's outside of the beam pan for that radar. Okay, and I mean, you, you know this stuff because you do it day to day, but I guess a lot of the information about, you know, locating the antenna, this is all in the manual, so people can read up on this thing if they need to. Is it certainly is, yes. Excellent. Well, it's a beautiful day, but we must get to work. So uh, without any further ado, let's get into the installation. Dan is going to start the installation by mounting the antenna. He connects the supplied mount to the antenna pole and tightens the Allen screws to secure it. He then needs to run the antenna cable from the position of the antenna down to where the control unit will be mounted below deck. In this design, the antenna cable connects to the antenna inside the mount and the mounting pole. So Dan is feeding the cable into the mounting pole. He then screws the antenna into the mount this is obviously best done before securing the pole to the vessel. There is a locking screw that prevents the antenna from unscrewing from out of the mount that needs to be firmly secured. Then Dan can secure the pole to the vessel. In this case, he is using two clamps to secure the pole to the existing rail. Care should be taken to ensure that all fastenings cannot become loose. Also, that the components used cannot cause electrolysis or galvanic corrosion that could result in the mounting system failing. Once the mounting is secure, it is time to look at getting the cable through the deck without creating any leaks. In this case, Dan is using a specific fitting that seals the cable and ensures that there are no problems with water leaking through to the sensitive electronics and everything else inside. With everything correctly installed above deck, it is now time to connect everything below deck. The elements for the below deck installation are connecting the power supply, terminating and connecting the cable, mounting the control unit, and finally connecting any external devices via the I.O. port or possibly a computer via the LAM port. Terminating the cable is key to ensuring a good connection between the antenna and the control unit. Although the system is significantly more resilient than the older satellite technologies, the termination should be done by a professional to ensure that the system works first time, every time. A solid seal connection will protect the system from any failures for many years to come. Another key element is power the terminal must receive the correct power for the specific installation. The terminal requires more power for longer antenna cable lengths. One more critical factor is the reliability of the power supply. If you lose the power supply, you lose the terminal. So you should always ensure that the power for your safety communications is the last thing to fail in an emergency situation, as having working safety communications could make all the difference in a search and rescue situation. With the antenna and the power cable completed, it is now time to mount the control unit. On this vessel, Dan is using the control unit mounting bracket in an upside down manner to best position the Iridium GMDSS terminal amongst the other communications equipment. He then mounts the handset cradle. The handset can now be placed in the cradle in a position that is easy to grab. He finally connects the antenna 
the power and the handset to the control unit, the LAN cable which connects to the laptop and provides other capabilities such as email and weather application will be fitted later. Once everything is connected to the terminal, it can be started up for the first time. When this is done, the terminal will then run through the setup wizard that will be covered in a separate video. For now, the physical installation is complete and once the setup wizard is done, the LT3100S terminal will be ready for use. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and for more information about Iridium GMDSS, visit iridium.com.